Hi, I'm Oreo. This is my second video in Keyboard Project, and I think I'm a little late. Sorry. I showed you what you need to prepare to make your hand wire keyboard in the last video. The key point was understanding the matrix and why we use diodes. This video, I will loop my switch that I chose last time, and I'll place the switches on my acrylic keyboard plate. Before start, please press beautiful red subscribe button. Those are big support for me. Did you? Then let's start right away. First of all, I told you in the last episode that I've never used CAD before. So, I used this website to make CAD file. I made layout at the keyboard layout editor.com and I copied this row data text. When you place this row data text on the keyboard drawing web page, you'll get DWG file. I put that switch holes on the plate outline that I made. I have used the Adobe Illustrator program simply. I made a logo and ordered a laser printing. These are the primary prototype acrylic housing. I thought it was done well, but I made a mistake. I forgot inserting a screw hole and the blocker in the top plate. So I ordered again, and it was made as I planned. After receiving my housing, I looped my switches first. There's no exact way, but let me explain how to loop the switches. First, open the legs of the switch top housing with tweezers to disassemble the switch. Second, loop this part of the below housing, but don't use too much lubricant. Third, loop the springs with a brush or gather in a ziplock bag and put oil inside and shake it. Fourth, I loop the slider with Crytox 205 grade 0 that I like. If you loop too much, you'll hear some oily sound, so loop it thinly. Finally, I looped a small amount of lubricant to the area where the top housing and slider meet to reduce the sound from the top housing. After these steps, your switch will be smoother and quieter. Then I placed these switches on the plate. In general, switches are soldered on the PCB so it can attach firmly. But this keyboard has no PCB, so I used hot glue method to place them. Plus, I tried to fix the plate stabilizers to a 5mm thick plate with hot glues. But it didn't fix well, and I removed it because the stabilizers doesn't fit well. The plate stabilizer can only be attached to normal plates, so it will be hard to assemble if you do it like me. I recommend dividing the plate into two pieces. 
Anyway, I placed all switches on the plate with hot glue. Here are some tips on how to hot glue the switch on the plate. Do not use too much hot glue on the switches on the side because they must be able to assemble with a middle plate underneath. Be careful not to wrap the switch pin with a hot glue because you have to solder the diodes and wires on the switch pins. I've hot glued all the switches. Now, put up the middle plate to test the assembly, then soldering, programming, and that's it. Today, we lube the switches and place the switches. Next time, we will solder diodes and wires on the switches and connect to the controller. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe is big support for me, so please press it.